Okay, before we get into this, a little around the league. So you got Tom Brady doing his thing, leading the MVP race. And my Redskins are 7-1. and one. So Coach Jay Gruden right now could be the coach of the year if he keeps this up. Right now we are third in the AFC South. Man, if we, if I was allowed to make changes to this organization right now, that's the thing. You don't have any options as a player. Like, you can't call for a player to come in. Like, I wish I could request for a certain quarterback to get traded to my team. I don't know. That would be kind of cool if they did it a lot next year. But for now, I have the team that I have, and I'm going to have to make up for what we don't have. So, I'm definitely going to try on to put on my best performance here. And you see Justin Blackman with a beautiful out route. Just beats the corner. Gets a first down right here. Keeps both feet in bounds. Blake Bortles the next play. Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we call that. Bring out the red carpet. Marvin Lewis looks pissed. It's 7-3. Look at all the time Blake Bortles has in the pocket. Young man, get rid of it. But not to them. The Bengals get a pick. They take over here at the 43 yard line and they scored a touchdown. So down goes Blake Bortles right here. They recover the ball once again. But luckily for us, our defense was able to hold on here. Even though Blake Bortles got smacked right there, we were still able to hang on. So it's still 7 to 13. Look at me right here getting yet another reception, breaking that tackle just shy of a first down. So a big third down coming up here. Take a look at my stats. Four receptions, 89. I'm averaging 22 catches. Well, 22 yards per catch. That's incredible. On third down, I just couldn't hang on. You can't blame me for that. That was a beautiful hit. And we're going to simulate. You see Dwayne Gratz gets a pick six. And the score now is 14-3. We take over here. This is probably like the last. Yeah, yeah, that happened. That, that happened. I'm not even shy to show that. So let's forget about that first half, even though we're up. We start on the second half. And here we are once again. Blake, you got me, Blake. Blake Bortles bring out the red carpet, the second touchdown of the day. Had a bad game here so far. A lot of fantasy owners that picked me, which they should have picked me, are enjoying their Sunday. So we're trying to capitalize on this possession once again because we're up by eight. And if we can get any... As I was saying, any sort of score. But obviously, it's not going to happen. Down goes Blake Bortles once again. But luckily, our defense has been big here today. Look at me. I'm running straight to the end zone. I decided to come back because Blake Bortles was stuck once again. I did not want to have him throw yet another pick. 279 yards on the day. And 179 of them are from me. So, Scobie goes out there, kicks the field goal. And you know what? Us being up by 11 with five minutes left, I feel good right now. But the Bengals did end up getting a field goal. Check the game clock. There's a minute 30 left. They caught our last time out. And here we're just short of a first down. Now, I would hope that we... Okay, maybe not go for it. Fourth and inches. But let's hold it on defense. So, we punted the ball. They tied up the game. They even went for two. And yeah, tied up the game. And here with 22 seconds left, Blake Bortles goes down once again. Here, let's just punt the ball, please. Third and 25, he goes down again. So, we're going to overtime and uh, in overtime, they got the ball first. Here I am just simulating it. And Mohamed Sanu, two-yard touchdown. And you know what? who their quarterback was? Their quarterback was Jason Campbell. They beat us with Jason Campbell. Now we jump to week number 10. We got a 6-3 and three Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys here in Madden are doing their thing as well. 3-6 and six so far. I think one or two losses, and we are officially eliminated. Now, I have 35 weekly hours i have to spend it i am still 76 overall so we finished with about six xp six thousand xp remaining and guess what your boy is the offensive player of the week the afc player of the week we're gonna go ahead and start the game here we are in london stadium taking on the dallas cowboys the tony romo list dallas cowboys because today brandon whedon is actually starting for them and with that being said i think we have the advantage here today but sean lee already here in the first possession is able to get Blake Bortles down first sack of the day and here comes Brandon Whedon hopefully our defense has a big performance already 
Brandon Winning couldn't do anything his first possession. There goes Lee. Marquise Lee picking up a first down. Third and 25. A big third down here. I'm able to get a reception. So we are moving the chains. Looking good here. Blake Bowles 6 for 9 so far. Third and 11. Look how wide open I am. What's going on? Blake Bortles rushed for five yards. It's all good. I'll take a field goal. So the score is 7-3. We got four minutes left here in the second quarter. I don't know what happened right there, but it looks like... Okay, five yards for Justin Blackman. Blake Bortles stepping back. Look at me. Get out of here. I just mossed this dude. And we're going to take this one all the way to the end zone. Bring out the red carpet. The score now is 10-7. Cowboys got a field goal. It's now 10 to 10. It's tied up. Two minutes left. Blake Bortles finds me. Our connection this year has been spectacular. And so far, I have 76 yards and a touchdown. I'm not slowing down. Blake Bortles goes to Toby. And Toby fighting for just shy of a first down. You know what? We're going for it. Fourth and two. Come back route. Get off me. And I'm going to take this one all the way. Bring out the red carpet. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. You see Escobar for the Cowboys. He gets a receiving touchdown. The score now is 20-17. So obviously... This is a big possession right here. I get yet another reception. Let's go ahead and take a look at the quarterback comparison. Both of them are having very similar games. A screenplay that was designed for me, Blake Bortles. Down he goes once again. I mean, you could just get rid of it, right? The Cowboys ended up scoring a touchdown. And here, I got popped and I fumbled. They didn't score, so we are still alive. Five minutes left with three timeouts, but again, I get popped. What is going on today? This is like a first. First of all, I fumbled for the first time, and I'm getting laid out for the first time. So it's not looking good for us. We do convert here on third down. That was Cecil Shorts. The next play, first and ten, taking it. That could be it for us. This game could literally eliminate us from the playoffs. I mean, we have to score ten points to even have a chance and the Cowboys have scored a touchdown once again with three minutes left looking at the way we've just given up the lead we once had this is uh this is over this is officially over I'm still trying to get more receptions for my fantasy owners I'm doing it for you guys man I've scored two touchdowns already can we get a third one here Blake Bortles Goes down for the sack. Not a surprise here. We're going for it on fourth down. Fourth and 17. Blake, get rid of it. Wow. Beautiful pass by Blake Bortles. So there you have it. The Dallas Cowboys with Brandon Whedon. Not Tony Romo with Brandon Whedon. Have beaten us 34 to 17. You guys see the stats on the day. 102.7 quarterback rating. Are you serious? 30 completions out of 40 attempts. Two touchdowns. Both quarterbacks had two touchdowns and one interception. You see, DeMarco Murray is still dominating in real life and in the video games. He had two touchdowns as well. I had 11 receptions for two touchdowns as well. So we're going to go ahead and simulate to week number 11. And in week 11, we have a bye week. Now, again, question that's out there right now. Is this it for us? Are we going to miss the playoffs this year? And where is... My future going to? What's the future team for my player? Right now we are 3-7. and seven. Our next game is against a division rival, Indianapolis Colts. They're 7-3. and three, And they have made me the number two receiver on the depth chart. You guys see the standings. And it's just crazy because Cecil Shorts is higher overall than me. But I am still the number one, number two receiver starting today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back next time for more.